Paper Scientists, how are you? I am just so happy to be here with you. I hope you had fun growing those colors uh, on those flowers. Well, we're going to go down now, get down dirty, and we're going to be talking about seeds, okay? Now, these plants all begin with seeds, and so the, the seed is an important part of the plant. And here, right here, I have a uh, illustration that shows three important parts of the seed, okay? So we begin with the um, seed coat, which is on the outside of the seed, and then we have inside. So if we split this seed, we have another side, and we can see the inside of the seed, and it's pretty cool. And that's called a cotyledon, and it's also known as the food storage. And then the seed has a baby plant growing out of it, and it's called the embryo. All right, so we're going to be talking with that. And one of the most important things is that we are able to see those three parts using a lima bean. So if you are interested in doing this lab, this lab takes a little bit of time. So sometimes it'll take a, a few days or a few weeks, and you can actually grow a lima bean plant. Okay, I know some of you have done that in school, um, so it's pretty fun to do, and I'll show you a really cool way to do that. But this is a bag of lima beans. I like to buy the large ones at the grocery store, and nothing fancy about it. And I like to go ahead and soak uh, the lima beans a little bit so that we can dissect it and we can see uh, inside the bean, okay? So we're just uh, soaking that in water. And we'll go ahead now and take a look at those a little bit closer. All right, and since you focus uh, on them, you can see that they're getting a little bit, um, a little bit uh, wrinkled. So here, we have a seed that has started to open up the seed coat. Do you see how wrinkly it is? Okay. Okay, so you see I'm pulling the seed apart very gently. Because I, I don't want to disturb the embryo, which is the baby plant. If the embryo breaks, then the plant, the seed will not grow into a plant. Okay, so we're going to be uh, holding this skin, the seed coat, and we're going to gently open the seed. Okay, so now the seed, we can see the storage, food storage. I'm going to have my assistant uh, point to the food storage with a pencil. There we go. Okay, so that is where the seed stores its food. All right, and now we're dissecting it to find the embryo. Can you see it? There it is. Right there. This little piece that's pointing up. Okay, so my assistant is going to point to the embryo now. That is the embryo. That's where the baby plant will start forming and grow into a beautiful lima bean plant. Okay. 
All right, wasn't that interesting? That's like really dissecting. But sometimes when we dissect animals, we can study the inside of the animal and compare it to other things. Okay, in this is seed, we were able to dissect and we were able to see the parts of that seed. Now, when I uh, like to germinate seeds, that's what we're going to be doing, is that we take seeds and we put them in an environment uh, like if it would be outside, but we're going to do it indoors, and that way we can see the process. I have this special um, activity called pocket garden. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grow a lima bean in a pocket. And the pocket is going to be a Ziploc bag, okay? And in the Ziploc bag, we're going to place a little piece of a paper towel. And it could be tissues or paper towels or whatever. And you place it inside the pocket guard, the, the little Ziploc like that with it open at the top. And we're going to place the seeds that we have here in this water, we're going to place it uh, into that container, okay? So I'm going to take uh, my instrument and pick them up gently because remember, I don't want to hurt the embryo. So I am going to then drop the seeds that are already moist and I'm going to put three of them in there. You can put more than one and it's sometimes it's a great idea to put more than one in there because we don't know if one will not work um, and it's always good to have extras, okay? Right. So we place it in there and then we Take a little bit of water and just kind of sprinkle some water in there. Don't pour water in there. We don't want it to be soaking wet. If you have a little spray bottle, that's great to use. Okay, so we're going to take this, and this is our little pocket garden. I keep mine a little bit open. Okay, just kind of snap the uh, sides a little bit. And I like to keep it open so it doesn't mildew because when you have a wet paper towel inside of a bag, it starts to get some bacteria in there. So I don't wanna do that. But here they are. Can, I don't think you'll be able to see them, but they're in there. Here, let me open it up so we can look in. And they're going to now stay in there. Every day I check the condition of the paper towel. And if the paper towel dries up, I have to add moisture to it. I'm going to take my little bag and I'm going to put it over here on the board. And some of my former students, they used to put it on the windows. So you can tape it up to your window because they thought that the seeds needed light. They don't need any light. You can put it in a closet and it will start to sprout. But the minute the embryo starts to develop and you see a little green plant coming out, you have to give it sunlight, okay, at that time. So at that time, you can put it somewhere where the sunlight, and you don't have to be outside, it can be inside. And you can grow a pretty nice large lima bean plant that will give you lima beans. So that's a cool way to do that. But this is cool because you can see the different developments and you can, you'll actually see the roots develop from that lima bean, okay? All right, so we're gonna be checking on this throughout our time and hopefully something will happen here. If you want, um, start your own and send me some pictures. I haven't had anybody send me pictures. So send me some pictures so I can see what you're doing with your lima beans and all of the fun activities that we're doing here, okay? Now, the purpose of these shows is to hopefully show you how much fun learning is and also the wonders of science, okay? Uh, many of you 
have great science experiments in school and I know that since we haven't been able to go to school I wanted to share with you some of what I have learned um, throughout my teaching career and uh, I really enjoy having you on the show I hope you continue to share what you are seeing with others and uh, moms and grandparents and teachers don't forget to share this with the little ones because I hope to spread the word by saying remember science is everywhere and Miss Rotolo is somewhere. Have fun.